Hello and welcome to the first in the series, the What If. And the What If we are looking at today is what if Yellowstone erupted? Now the Yellowstone is located in America in the Yellowstone National Park. It is one of 12 supervolcanoes, but it's the most well known. When it is erupted, it would be the US television networks would bring us the first news. But it wouldn't take long for the first physical signs to appear. Within three to four days, a fine dusting of ash would fall across Europe. Over to you, Dan. This, this, this is a list of the things that ash can do. Ash can <laughs> kill and I'm sicken humans God damn it, and animals. Jesus. Reduce Stop. sunlight. Stop! Now get Stop. your fucking priorities right. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> fucking make me angry. Ash can kill and sicken humans and animals. It will reduce sunlight, trigger rainfall causing mudslides and floods, disrupt all forms of travel, crush buildings. How will it crush buildings, Seward? Crush buildings with 30 centimetres of dry ash would be enough to collapse a roof. Though all the buildings around Yellowstone will be destroyed. Goddamn. We will also contaminate water. We will also kill crops and vegetation. And clog machinery, such as air filters. A computer model shows that... The fallout from Yellowstone super eruption could affect three quarters of the US. The greatest danger would be within a thousand kilometers of the blast, where at least 90% of people would be killed. Large numbers of people would die across the country from inhaling ash. The ash would form a cement-like mixture in the human lungs. Oh dear. Even the east coast could be paralyzed by just one centimeter of ash. Because supervolcanoes are highly explosive, the magma would not have time to become lava. Instead, it is blasted into countless particles, tiny, scorching particles of jagged rock. Climate change. The weather would become much colder. Volcanoes inject sulfur gas into the atmosphere, which creates aerosols. Over to you, Dan. I would scatter the sunlight and create a cooler temperature across the globe. The sky would look, look like a cloudy, cloudy winter, winter morning. morning all day long. The skies in Europe would appear red in the days after the eruption. To predict what exactly will happen means relying on data from the Indonesian supervolcano about 74,000 years ago. Experts believe a yellow star eruption would inject 2,000 million tons of sulphur, 40 to 50 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Over to you, Bumford. Once there, it would take two to three weeks for sulfuric aerosols to cover the globe. Global temperatures would drop by up to 10 degrees, taking 10 years until temperatures return to normal. Scientists predict that monsoons <coughs> would fail as a result of the temperature change, causing mass starvation in Asian countries where they depend on these life-giving rains. An event as massive as the Yellowstone super eruption would change the earth and our society forever. There would be great losses of life, ill health and major changes economically and ecologically. Scientists believe another super eruption is inevitable. They cannot completely rule out a Yellowstone eruption in the near future. So, it could happen tomorrow. It could. It could happen to next week. It could happen in a year. But it's liable to happen in thousands of years' time, past our lifetime. So, just, but, just relax. But it's not totally out of the question. It could happen in our lifetime. Really, as well. It's likely it'll erupt while there are still humans on the earth. That is very liable. Liable. That's very liable to happen. Are Li you dumb? Liable is not the same word as likely. Liable. Right. I'm going to get you a dictionary. I'll give you, you dropped a slap out of, in the face. You dropped out of university. And you're not intelligent. You're not very intelligent. But I'm um, you failed your A-levels. I'm a scientist. You're not intelligent. <laughs> you, you failed your A-levels. 
Anyway, there's more information on the link provided in the description. We will be having more of these what if stories, such as what if the Chernobyl reactor wasn't stopped? What if Nazi Germany had won the war? What if there was no internet? What if man travelled faster than light? Huh? What if an asteroid, a big asteroid, hit the Earth? We'd die. We'd die? No, not necessarily. Look, Depends what it is. Look, you're if parasite. it's in the future, you know, way into the future, we'd probably be able to blow it up before it got to us with a rocket. Oh, that's, that's great. It'd so, be the Russians. So on this note, we will bid you a goodbye. Until next time.